Do 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 do. I eat games. Yeah. Hey, mongrels. Mark here, and we are playing Days Gone, and we are playing the mission Drifters on the Mountain, and we're gonna take those guys out stealthily. Um, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So let's go ahead and pull up the map and take a look. There's Deacon. There are the Marauders. We're gonna work our way down this mountain very quickly, and. Um, the stealth in this game, I think this game is mostly meant to be stealth. You can go guns blazing if you like, but uh, it's pretty fun stealth, I think. So there's supposed to be some guy we're chasing. I never saw him, but I'm going to trust that we are just going to follow this mission marker. Let's work our way down the mountain, and when you get to this police car, um, this is a bad, bad move. Don't do what I did here. Bad deacon. So what you want to do is always, always, always check the front of the car first. That way we can disable a car alarm. You would think there would be an alarm on a police car, but maybe it got damaged when it crashed. So always check the front first of the parked cars or crashed cars or whatever. Um, yes, oil filters can be converted into silencers for your pistol. It is red because I already have one, but they are super useful, especially when we're playing stealthily. Now, the Marauder Camp is right there, but we're actually going to curve our way to the right and we're going to... Uh, hide in those bushes down there. We don't want to take it head on. So remember, crouching is super important. Um, also important to note, a, a stealth kills give you twice the about twice the XP. Um, those meters down on the right, pay attention to that stuff because you do make a lot of noise and it's nice that there's a meter so you can see how much the bad guys can hear and see. We want to work our way down there. You can see there's a patrol unit. Um, there are some freakers over here. Are there? Yeah, you can hear them. They're right around that corner. Let's go ahead and take a look. Yes. Okay. So there are there are freakers down there. We're gonna leave those guys there. We're not gonna mess around with that. We're gonna. I would love to like pull them into the camp and see how awesome it would be to take them out that way. But I I just want to show some stealth here. Okay. So there is where we're headed. We're gonna go to those shrubs over there. And we're gonna kind of attack from the side. Stealth markers. Okay, so this is how we're going to use our binoculars. You press up on the D-bed, press R2 to mark, so it's a very far cry. Marking enemies makes it easier to follow. Yes, and trap. Okay, so we can do humans and freakers using this. So we press up on the D-pad to bring up the binoculars. L3, click on that to zoom, and then we're going to press R2 to mark and track our enemies. And once you mark them, they will stay marked, not just in the when you have the binoculars out. Where'd those other guys go? Let me move up here so I can see if I can find them so we can mark before we get in the camp. Man, this is so far cry. In a good way. In a good way, because this is fun. Um, there's two. So there's a total of six. Well, that's that's good enough. I wonder if you can mark the freakers. I wonder if they have a different marker. No, they have... Okay, they all have the same marker. Okay, so let's go ahead and head down there. You can see we have the markers are still there. You can see them through rocks, which is nice. So we're going to crouch. Hit the circle button to crouch. And what we're going to do is there is a patrol right there. We're going we're gonna to work our way down to those bushes, and then we're going to work our way from those bushes to the one down there below. Okay, now's our chance. Let's go ahead and work our way into the first set of bushes, and we'll listen in on these two guys. Apparently, these guys were just about to take us out, and that is not happening. Deacon St. John is not going to let that happen. Okay, now that our uh, the bad guy is facing that way, let's work our way down. Pay attention to the noise meter. You can see it's making noise, and then when you get into the bushes, it's not quite as loud, and the visibility meter also basically, basically goes down. Now, this woman on the right there... She doesn't move, so we actually don't really need to worry about her, but it's the patrol units that we're worried about because they move. Okay, so r remember, you press triangle for stealth kills. So we're going to work our way around the back here, and once you see that green skull, then you can take them out. Now, we're going to get some attention, but that's okay. We're going to take out that person next quickly because they're going to get they're going to they're going to get aware of what's happening but that's okay take them out the ai is a little dumb in this game so even though that guy sees us see the red yellow icon that means that um he really thinks he saw something but he's just not positive so we're going to head over there and now that we drew him out you could use rocks but i wanted to show this without doing rocks um 
Good. So now we see in the upper left-hand corner, we have three of six cleared from the Marauder camp. So it's, it's kind of nice to know how many there are, but I kind of wish we didn't know. I wish it didn't tell you so easily because it keeps the suspense. All right, so there's two of the three. All right, so now that both bad guys are facing different directions, one's facing left, one's facing right, we're going to quickly zoom in through that little gap into those bushes over there. And then from our little death nest here, we're going to get some attention, but just ignore that guy. This is our little death nest. We're going to take out all three of these bad guys, these marauders. Okay, so that's our... Yeah, I think that's our next victim. Although we should... Maybe we'll take out the patrol. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so she basically has a point A, point B, and she goes back between those two. This guy doesn't move at all. I'll tell you what we're going to do here. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take out that guy. Remember, you press triangle for the stealth kill. We're going to wait for this patrol to head back. We're going to ignore the guy up top. That guy, because even if he sees us... He's too far away, really, to start shooting. Okay, so she's heading back. All right, now that we know for, for sure what her path is, she's gonna head back to those bushes. She's not looking at us. That guy's pretty far away. We're gonna take him out. He can't move bodies in Days Gone, at least not that I'm aware of. Um, you kind of just have to leave them there, and uh, they could be a good little luring device, too. So we know we have two left. That guy does not patrol up top, but that's okay. You know what we're going to do? Now that we know her path for sure, we're going to circle around behind her. We're going to take her out, and we're just going to ignore that guy, even though we're going to get What's some that? attention from him. What's that? What's up? There we go. Good. She's taken What's care of. Now we're going to loop back into our death nest, head back into these bushes. This guy's going to go, what in tarnation's going on down here? I know there's somebody down here. He's going to head down here, and we're going to curl around just like we did with the last patrol, and we're going to take him out just like this. And there you go. We stealthed the whole camp. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video.